Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to do the Easter event 2018 on Old School RuneScape. The items you need are some burnt meat, some garlic and a cabbage from Drainer Manor. Now to get the burnt meat, all you do is start a fire, use some cooked meat on the fire and it'll burn the meat. The garlic you can just buy off the Grand Exchange. So you want to start by teleporting to Falador and then running southeast to where the air altar is and outside there you'll find the Easter Bunny. Now I'm going to leave the video at normal speed, but if you want to skip ahead I'll put the timestamp in the description if you know where you're going, but if not you can follow where I run. So when you get there, you're going to want to talk to the Easter Bunny. Now, you'll go through some dialogue with him. I've already done this bit, but once you've gone through the dialogue, then you want to enter down the rabbit hole. Once you're inside the rabbit hole, you want to find a bunny called Choco just near the entrance. Talk to him, go through the dialogue that he has to say. Then once you've done that, exit back out of the tunnel. Once you're out of the tunnel, you want to go south to the Necromancer. He's the guy in black over here. So you want to talk to him. Uh, talk about Easter and again I've already spoke to this guy but it'll tell you a bunch of ingredients that he wants which is a drain of mana cabbage, some burnt meat and a clove of garlic. So we already have the burnt meat and the garlic. To get the drain of mana cabbage you want to run to drain of mana. Now again I'm going to leave the video at normal speed but the timestamp will be in the description if you want to skip to the part where we arrive at drain of mana. Alright guys, so we're here now. What you want to do is you want to go west of the manor and just near the farming patch there's a few cabbages on the floor. You just want to get one of these cabbages and then go back to the necromancer. Once again, I'll keep the video at normal speed, but if you want to speed it up the timestamp is in the description. Okay, so talk to this guy again, tell him that you've got the ingredients, it'll take them off you and it'll give you a growth potion. Once you've got the growth potion, you want to jump back down the rabbit hole and go speak to Choco again. So talk to Choco again and he'll mumble a bunch of rubbish that nobody cares about. And then once you've finished talking to him, just say that you'll carry on doing the manual labour work that he has to offer you. And go slightly east and there'll be a pickaxe on the floor. Now I'd already picked mine up so for the purpose of the video I've put one back on the floor and picked it back up. So basically just take the pickaxe, there'll be a bronze pickaxe on the floor. 
Then mine the chocolate deposits on the wall. Get a few of these and then you want to run back to Choco, talk to Choco again. It'll now mumble some more stuff and then you want to run southwest and down a hole onto the next layer. Now the room that you're entering is a maze. In order to navigate through it, the hole that you go through will land you in the opposite direction. So if you go north, it will send you south. If you go south, it will send you north. If you go west, it will send you east. And if you go east, it will send you west. So just basically follow the path that I'm going on and you'll come to the first Easter Bunny. Now, when you talk to this Easter Bunny, they'll ask you about a god. You'll then have to answer questions about that god. So they're really easy if you know a bit about the gods. So I do Saradomin. If you want to copy me, you can do that just to make life easier for you. Once you've finished the dialogue, just take from the crate which represents your god. So blue for Saradomin, green for Guffix, and black for Zamorak. Now we want to head south and go to the other bunny. Again, you can just follow the directions that I go in the video. So once you arrive, talk to the bunny, and this bunny will want you to pick three different flavours. And they'll give you a bit of a riddle of the order in which they should be in. I don't know if it's the same for every person or not. So in mine, I got given yellow, orange, and black. So once you've got them, read it carefully, determine which colour order they've got to be in, and then take the items from the shelf, and then use each one individually on the rabbit. Once you've given them all in the correct order, a cutscene will begin. Skip through all of the remaining dialogue and then once you've done that, take the egg mould from the floor and use it on the cooking range. You'll now make a small egg. Once you've done this, it's time to go back through the maze and exit back up to Choco. Again, if you're not sure which way to go, just follow the way that I go in the video. I don't think I go the quickest route, but it doesn't take that long. Choco will now tell you to put the egg on a platform southeast. So what you want to do is you want to run southeast 
and as you go to place the egg on the platform, a cutscene will begin. You'll put the egg down, you'll put the potion on top, the egg will grow bigger and then fall through the floor. Once the cutscene is finished, run back to Choco and speak to them again. Choco will then tell you to sort out the problem yourself, so you want to run back southeast, climb down the rope, and there will be a chicken there. You want to attack this chicken and kill it. After you've killed the chicken, go back upstairs, talk to Choco again. Choco will now say that you need to deal with yet another chicken. So once you've finished talking to Choco, run back down the hall. Just north of where you come down, there's a nest, so pass through the nest and then pass through the nest again, and then you'll be next to a giant chicken. Now I made the mistake first of just attacking the chicken, I then realised that you have to go around and if you attack the pillars, it releases certain things that will damage the chicken even more. If you want to skip the boss fight, the timestamp will be in the description again. Right, now that you've defeated the boss, it's time to go back upstairs, talk to Choco again, and claim your reward. The reward for the event this year is the eggshell armour and two easter eggs. Hopefully you found this guide useful, thanks for watching.